meter. It's a, a device for measuring force. Uh, you can buy them from science suppliers. Um, some of them are quite cheap. But I always think it's much, much more interesting to make your own. And by making it, you certainly understand how it works. Um, another reason for making your own force meter, it helps to get your head around the thorny subject of force and weight and mass. Um, I'm not sure uh, at what age you begin to grapple this subject in primary school. Certainly, um, we, we start to get our heads around it in secondary schools. Um, and the problem is that it's kind of everyday language bumping up against scientific language. Um, in everyday language, we call these sort of things weights. Uh, this is a 100 gram weight. But uh, in science, we say, and we're quite right in science, that um, weight is a force. It's to do with the Earth's gravity. And it's not measured in grams or kilograms. Weight is a force and forces are measured in a unit called the Newton. Now uh, we don't really come across Newtons very often in uh, everyday life and I think that's why the, 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 there is a problem uh, uh, dealing with this subject. Um, this, ma this mass, a scientist would say this is a mass uh, it's a 100 gram mass. Um, if I took this to um, the moon, it would only weigh one sixth of that. So um, you must, it, it, a Newton must be used as a unit of force. Um, uh, kilograms and grams are the unit of mass. Mass never changes no matter where it is, whether it's on the earth or the moon. It's still a 100 gram mass. But um, the weight does change. So that's why we use Newtons for forces. Well, um, enough of the science. Um, let's get busy making a force meter. Um, we need um, some black uh, plastic tubing. This is an electrical conduit. Um, it's, it's quite cheap. Three, three meters will only cost you a few pounds. So this piece will only cost a few pence. And you can buy electrical conduit from your local uh, DIY superstore. Uh, we also need um, a cup hook and a curtain eye. These are all available from DIY shops. Um, we could, it would be nice to have a piece of wooden dowel that fits inside there. I don't have any at hand. So I'm going to use a piece of uh, square section wood that's available from my supply service. This is 8mm by 8mm square section wood. And both the tubing and the dowel are about 24cm long doesn't have to be exactly 24 centimetres. Um, we're also going to need um, some masses, let's use the right word. These are 100 gram masses and uh, I've also got a hanger here. This also uh, has a mass of 100 grams so all together we've got uh, 400 grams there. Um, most primary schools would have some of these lying around. If you don't you could um, perhaps borrow them from your local secondary school. Um, now, we do have to drill um, two holes across the end of the piece of tubing. Um, you can see I've drilled a hole through there. And that hole is about 4mm diameter. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we need to um, make two small holes at each end of the wood to help us to screw the curtain eye and the cup hook in. You could use an awl. I've made my own awls by sharpening a screwdriver. Um, or you could uh, hammer in uh, a nail, just a short way, like this. Don't hammer it in too far, just to make a small hole, just to help us get the, the curtain eye and the cup hook started. Don't go in too far, otherwise the wood will split. And then screw the curtain eye in. Doesn't need to go all the way down, just a short way in, as long as it feels so firm and secure and then the cup hook on the other end and again don't need to screw it all the way down as long as it feels as though it's firmly in. Next we're going to fix the spring onto the curtain eye and they've got this loop of metal here this uh, is an expendable spring which is available from my supplier service they're only 10p each and it's a bit like putting keys on a key ring uh, once you get the knack of doing it, you need to push it between the two bits of wire, which I'm failing to do at the moment. There we are. 
and take it round to 